Missouri, ladies and gentlemen, your 2016 National Hammer Dulcimer Champion, Eilis Mears. much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me be here again. Yay. It's wonderful to be back. In fact, it is so wonderful. I have to tell you about this moment I had Tuesday. Um, I had gone down to Big Rapids to Walmart because, you know, Walmart, and I was leaving the parking lot and on the radio, which was tuned to NPR, Grand Rapids was playing Aaron Copeland's Appalachian Spring. It was great. I love it. And I was happy and the sky was blue. And into the Walmart parking lot came an Amish buggy. Picture perfect. Everything was absolutely perfect about it. And the horse, I kid you not, is prancing. Do -do 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 and I thought, I'm back in Everett. So, here are simple gifts and holy manna. <clears throat>
I knew you were a musically sophisticated audience and you would appreciate the fact that when the rhythm got wonky, it was because, you know, I got rhythm. <laughs> and you got it, right? Okay, just check. Now, we're going to go even further back. I'm going to play you an old time fiddle tune. An old time fiddle dance tune. It's so old that it's, well, actually it's a J.S. Bach tune. And the dancing is the rondo and the gavotte from one of the violin partitas. So if you feel led to dance with your pointy shoes and your powdered wigs, that would be cool. Feel free. Southwest Missouri is two days a week I get to play for, for insects. Um, I play at a place called the Butterfly Palace and Rainforest Adventure in Branson and there are 1,500 exotic butterflies and lots of happy tourists. It's the best gig ever except for this. So the goal in there is to make things serene and calm and pleasant. This is one of the things I play. It's called Shall We Gather at the River.
been lovely to see so many familiar faces, so many new friendly faces. It's been a delight to be here this week. Um, one of the workshops that I taught yesterday was a tune called Black Mountain Air. Scott referred to our getting to hang out a little bit in Kansas and at Winfield in Carp Camp. This song came up a couple of years ago and I said, what is that? Because it just, it captured me and looked it up. It was Black Mountain Air and according to the little tune book, the composer's name was Mark Schatz. I never heard of Mark Schatz, so I Googled him. What else are you gonna do? And lo and behold, Mark Schatz is a national musician, fabulous mandolinist and bassist, and he dances and he does all this cool stuff. So I sent him an email. Hey, Mark Schatz, I like your tune. I'm going to Everett this summer and I want to teach it to a bunch of hammer dulcimer players. And I got that back the most gracious, lovely response, which says, oh, I'm so glad you like my song. And yes, here are the dots and here's a recording of it and feel free to share it with anybody you want. Well, that was 2020. So, so I got to bring it and teach it this year. It's a wonderful tune. I encourage you to play Black Mountain Air. I love to follow it with Black Mountain Rag because, you know, same mountain, and it really is, but two totally different perspectives. So here we go. I pretend you heard Black Mountain Rag after that. <laughs> the last few years have just been a mess. We all know it. Lots of water has run under the bridge. Things we couldn't control. A lot of heartache. Well, several years ago, a friend of mine said, I want you to write a song for my funeral. I said, well, write this minute? And he said, no, no, not yet, but it's, it, you know, eventually it will come. And he says, I want to, based on this passage of scripture from the Old Testament, the end of the book of Habakkuk. Okay, raise your hand if you know where that is. <laughs> awesome, you're a good crowd. So, I had to look it up. And it basically says, no matter what happens, if there are no figs on the trees, there are no crops in the fields, there are no animals in my barns, no matter how bad things get, I will rejoice because my strength comes from the Lord. Amen. Here's the song of Habakkuk. This is my last two. Thank you so much for being here and your support for this community and your love for the last three years.
Alice Mears.